Hello dear children, I am Mrs. Gurpreet Kaur Bhatia. Welcome you all to the virtual classes of Jet Kids International School, Pusad. So children, our today's topic is comprehension dis discussion of chapter number 8, the cherry tree part 1, which is based upon environment. So let's see what is in the comprehension. A. Read the lines from the story and answer the questions. Number one, don't drown it, said grandfather. A. What does it in the above sentence mean? What do you think? It refers to a small cherry tree. B. To whom does grandfather say that? Grandfather says that to his grandson, Rakesh. Number two, it will grow again. Cherry trees are tough. A. Who says that to whom? Grandfather says that to Rakesh. B. In what situation is that said? Oh, that was a situation when the goat enters into the garden and ate up all the leaves. Yeah. So, a goat eats the leaves and branches of the small cherry tree. Seeing that, Rakesh got upset about this. Grandfather consoles him by saying that. B. Answer the questions. Number 1. What did Rakesh buy on his way home? Buy. Buy is the first form of the verb. And did is telling you the past tense in the question. So your answer must be in the simple past tense form. How is it? Buy will be changed into bought. Rakesh bought a few cherries on his way home. So your answer is in between first part and you know uh, last part will be same on his way home. Okay. Second, how long did it take him to reach home? It took Rakesh about half an hour to reach home. Question number three, where did Rakesh live? Why were there very few fruit trees? Rakesh lived with his grandfather at the foothills of the Himalayas on the outskirts of Masuri. There were very few fruit trees because the soil there was stony and the dry cold winds stunted the growth of most plants. Stunted means prevented or stopped. Question number four, where did Rakesh plant the seed and how? Rakesh planted the seed in the corner of the garden where the soil was soft and yielding. So he did not have to dig. He pressed the seed with his thumb and the seed went into the soil. Question number five, how did grandfather and Rakesh spend their winter evenings. Grandfather and Rakesh sat around a charcoal fire in the cold winter evenings. Grandfather told Rakesh various stories. Some stories were about ghosts that lived in trees. Some about people who turned into animals and other about beans that jumped. Isn't it amazing? Rakesh, in turn, would read the newspaper to grandfather since grandfather's eyesight was weak. Question number six. How did the goat harm the cherry tree? When the tree was about two feet in height, a goat entered the garden and ate all the leaves of the tree. Only the stem and two branches remained. Question number seven. Do you think all birds migrate to escape harsh weather? Give reasons to support your answer. Not all, but many birds such as geese, ducks and waterfowls migrate to escape the harsh weather. Birds living in the Arctic regions have certain adaptations which help them to survive the cold weather and they do not migrate. Got it children? Okay, the next part is uh, one of my favorite, uh, you know, life skills and values. 
what are the things we instilled in ourselves from the lesson caring for the environment uh, children all the valid answers are accepted okay number one what are the benefits of planting trees have you planted any trees so i hope that my children my champions can think of better over these issues yeah you are the future of the nation how do you want to protect your earth yes motherland yes what are the precautions what are the remedial steps to be taken to protect it so what are the benefits of planting trees okay first one is uh, you get fresh air second uh, you can say uh, you know it protects the soil as well yeah uh, it uh, you know controls the soil pollution yeah many more are there you just record your views record your voice uh, these answers and send it to the teacher okay you can share it with me have you ever planted any trees yes i think you have haven't you okay on on your birthday or on special occasions or especially on tree plantation day when it is okay you should definitely describe it number 2 when we plant a tree we show the earth that we care for it sometimes planting a seed is not enough we must make sure the seed gets protection so that it grows into a tree how can we make sure that the seed we have planted grows properly like you people you are small yeah so your parents are protecting you yes until you get your own views you you get independent so likewise seeds until they transform into a beautiful tree we need to protect them yes so this is not the way like you have sown a seed and forget it all no take care of it okay like you people uh, are taking care of your younger siblings yes uh, okay uh, correcting their habits sometimes guiding them counseling them your parents are counseling them guiding you so likewise we need to notice the seed we need to protect it from the harsh weathers yes to uh, you know help it to grow well into the uh, into a beautiful tree or a plant yes children so hope that you would definitely take care of uh, planting trees you would take care of the trees which are already there okay save the environment children it is in your hands how do you want to see your world your nature in the coming generations in the coming years yes so you decide it uh, what you know which air you want to breathe in do you want toxic air do you want polluted air yes uh, full of chemicals yeah if not then take the remedial steps think over it it's really a crucial issues which uh, you know uh, which demands uh, your time your uh, you know your sharings okay children so here uh, let's see what's in the next slide okay a big thank you so we'll meet in the next video with the remaining exercise of this lesson till then you keep learning keep growing bye bye